Hello and welcome to the new lecture. In this lecture, we would be learning how to draw practically a five-point harmonic pattern. Okay. Now I have taken this ICIC Bank uh, two-hour chart. Now why we have taken this chart because I can see a probable harmonic pattern here because an uh, because a M is being formed here. Right. We can see that there can be a probable harmonic pattern because of this. Now simply follow the steps closely. This is the pattern maker. We just need to take this XABCD pattern. This magnet mode is already on. This is the swing low. I'll be clicking on that, then swing high, then intermediate swing low, then again this intermediate swing high, and D point we can put anywhere. Now, here the value of XB that we are able to see is 0 0.509, which is very near to 0.5 FIBO. We would adjust this and see if we can get a more perfect value. No, it is going far away, right? So it is very, very far. So this. 0.509 is the nearest and the best value, best FIBO value that we are getting. So we have again adjusted this X point to the swing low. The swing high remains the same. B point remains the same. Now we need to find out the D point. Now in the theoretical lectures, I explained you just double click this pattern. Okay. Go into the coordinates and this is the website, my website, pratimtungare.com, my tools. From there, go to harmonic tools and harmonic PRZ finder. This is a harmonic PRZ finder I have already given on my website. It will just open. All right. Now what this PRZ finder will do is we, it will find out the PRZ as well as the supports and resistances okay, automatically for all the patterns. Now as we are looking for a bullish pattern, right? this is a bullish pattern as this is an M formation and D point is at the bottom. Now we will just put these prices into the harmonic PRZ finder. Four ninety-eight point ninety. Five twenty-seven point eighty. Now friends, we have entered X, A, B, and C. Now it has given us some values automatically here. Now we need to find out which is basically this pattern. First of all, we will see the group. Okay, open this cheat sheet as you are new and you are, I mean, you don't remember the group. So when a, uh, C is greater than A, it belongs to group B. But here the C is lesser than A, so it belongs to group A. Is the value 0.618 or very near to 618? No, it is not. Now, this is the next pattern that we need to consider. This is a bullish bat. This can be a probable bullish bat because the values of XB should be between 0.382 to 0.509. And here the value is 0 0.509. Now we have identified the pattern that it can be a probable bullish bat pattern. We would just go to the harmonic PRZ finder and here it is written bat 502.19. We just simply need to put this value in on the chart. 
in the value price five five zero two point one nine. This XD value gets automatically adjusted to 0.886. This is our first PRZ. Take a horizontal line from here. Okay. Double click the line. Make it a bit visible. You can change the color if you want. And put the value of this 502.19. This is our first PRZ or D point. Now to find out the second PRZ, what we need to do is in this PRZ finder table, we just need to see the nearest value in this column as well as this column. So which is the very near value to 502? This is 503.3, right? This is the nearest value from the bat. Now, in this AB is equal to CD patterns, there are three columns. So from first value we have taken from this column, second value from this column and third column, third value from this. So it is almost the same 502.33. So our PRZ becomes 503.30, second PRZ. The first PRZ remains the same 502.19. Right? Because these are almost the same. The second PRZ is 503.3. We will take another horizontal line. We will put that value 503.3. Now we have got our the second, we have got our second PRZ. Okay. Now we will find out the stop loss. To find out the stop loss, the method is same. Just take the FIBO from FIB retracement, draw B to C. Okay, draw B to C. Click on all these ratios, extend the lines. I'll remove the background for clarity. Now we see that the uh, ratio, the value that is just below to the PRZ is 500.32. We will put a line on this and change the color. This is our stop loss. We will just backtrack if exactly any time this stock has reversed from here but it has not happened. Not from the exact but from this X point it has happened. So if you want, you can just little bit move it downside and make it here so that our stop loss is not hit and then it again goes up. So we will adjust it accordingly. Now we will delete this FIBO. To find out the targets, we will draw FIBO from C to D point. 0.236 is our intraday target. Okay, this is our intraday target. This is our positional 0 0.382 is our positional first target. And 0 0.50 is our third target. If the value goes beyond this also, then we can trail the stop loss. We will delete the FIBO. Our pattern is complete. We will save this pattern. Okay. Now, in the next lecture, we will see how do we trade this pattern, right? How do we trade this pattern? But I hope this is clear that how we have drawn this pattern on the chart and how we have saved this pattern. So that next time, if we want, we can get the chart ready-made. We don't need to draw this again and again. So I have tried to make this drawing very, very simple. Please practice and try to draw all the patterns okay these are the bullish patterns these are the bearish patterns if you don't have this sheet just whatsapp me i will send you the sheet okay and try drawing more and more uh, patterns so that you become perfect 
for now. Happy trading, folks. Bye for now.